Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you how we can get a file name from a folder. This um, is quite useful if you've got some VBA or a macro that runs that goes off and does something with a particular file but then somebody else sends the same file but under a different name. What this macro will allow you to do is put that file the new one into a folder so you've got no others in there just the new one and then your VBA code will go off to that folder read the name in there and then continue with your macro so you can replace the actual file name that you've used in your macro and make it more dynamic so let's have a look at this one first of all we're going to go over to Visual Basic and here's our Visual Basic editor I'm in module 2 here for this workbook so the first thing that I want to do is type sub and then we'll just give it a name maybe get file name and then open and close bracket press enter and you should get an end sub I'm just going to put a comment here so a single quote this will get the name of the first file in the folder if you've got the scenario where you're just receiving different file names just delete all your old ones just keep one in there and it will pick up the name of that particular file so now I need to declare some variables that we're going to be using you declare these with dim and then I want to use one that's called file name as string and then the next one is going to be path name again as string the final one that I want on here is one that gives you the full path name and the file name all in one we're going to declare this one this is going to be full file name again as string so there's our variables declared now what you need to do I'll put a note here so you need to enter your file path in this next bit so this will be path name so that's the variable we want that to equal so in speech marks put your file path and so that's what the path name will equal in my case then we want the file name to equal and we're going to use a little feature here called directory so it's dir and then you want path name and then you want a space and put the ampersand or the end and then you want to put some asterisks here we're going to use wildcards so in speech marks we'll have asterisks dot asterisks which are the two wildcards that picks up the file name and the file extension inside there so then remember to close the bracket and enter now we actually want the full file path and name together so we're going to call this the same as our declaration at the top there full file name equals and we'll have that as path name and then we want to join that with an ampersand and file name and press enter okay so I just want to show you that this actually works so what we'll do we'll put a message box here and in the message box we'll have the full file name full file name okay and let's just see this working so first of all let's have a look at my file path so here it is here I've got a I've got a spreadsheet in here that's 
called products underscore march. So we've already told it this file path that I've got. So we want that to go and read that folder and pick up that file name. Let's just move this out of the way. Go back to our spreadsheet, click macros, get file name. So let's run that. Here's our little message box that's just popped up. There's the full file path and the name in there. Okay, so let's go and change the name. So I'll change this to February. So we've got a different name in there. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Run our macro again. Macros, get file name and run. And there we've got the file path with the new name. So now what we can do is go to our macro. If you've got a macro that's going off to get a file that's going to be changing all the time. So let's go back to Visual Basic. I've got one here. Let's open this one. I'm just opening that file, selecting the data and then pasting it onto my original one and then closing it. So at the top here, we've got the three variables being declared up there. Then we've got the path name, file name and for name. So that bit's exactly the same as what we've just done. So instead of the message box, I'm opening the other workbook. So here I've got workbooks dot open file name equals full file name. So that gives a full file path so that it opens that particular workbook that's in there. Then we make that the active spreadsheet with Windows file name active. So you can see wherever I'm using file name, path name or full file name, that's coming from the bit that's read that particular folder. Then I'm selecting A1 and then I'm selecting all the data. I've used this range selection, selection dot end. That means it will select whatever size data there is. OK, then we've got copy. Now we're going back. So we're making the original spreadsheet active again and going into A1 and then I'm pasting that data down here. And then I go back to the one that we opened. That's Windows and file name that we read and then active window close and then that takes us back to A1 in our original spreadsheet. Let's go and see this work. Click macros. I'm copying the data. So if I run this, there it is. It's just copied the data into here from the other spreadsheet. So now let's see if this works by changing the actual name of the file in this folder. So I'm going to assume somebody sent me some more data or some different data. I'll call this one March. So it's a different file name now. Let's move this out of the way. Let's delete this. And now import some more data or copy and paste. So macros, copy data, run. So it opens the file, copies it, and then pastes it and closes the file that was open. So hopefully that helps you if you've got the scenario where you want to read a particular file name from a folder. Just make sure you delete all the other files in there. Or if you're happy for it just to read the first one each time, that's what this will do. It will always read the first one. And then just replace any file names and paths that you've put into your macro and just replace it with either file name, path name or full file name, depending on what you need. Hopefully that helps you and good luck with it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you did like this, please subscribe, click the bell and the thumbs up and everything else that you can find. So look forward to seeing you and thanks for watching.